Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Chris, your NFL writer here at OccupyFantasy.com. Here with a look at the quarterback position for the Week 15 contests on FanDuel, DraftKings, and Yahoo. As always, we would love it if you would consider subscribing to the channel uh, if you'd like the video. And leave a comment below if you have any questions about quarterbacks on this slate. You can also consider joining our Discord where Occupy staff and members are discussing every single NFL DFS slate going on throughout the entire season. And those discussions have certainly been heating up this week with all of the things that are moving around, unfortunately, due to the COVID news that we're getting around the league. We've had a bunch of games that have been postponed and moved here on Friday afternoon. Uh, and they are affecting the Sunday main slate. Uh, we have two games that are not going to be on the Sunday main slate anymore. That would be the Seattle Seahawks and the Los Angeles Rams and the Philadelphia Eagles and the Washington football team. For those of you who are looking forward to a two-game slate on Saturday, Cleveland and Las Vegas is now also going to be on Tuesday night. Uh, the models that we have at OccupyFantasy.com will be updated for all of these games when they happen and when they are on slates. So you can just stay tuned to our website if you're a subscriber for updates to that content. As far as Sunday's slate goes, the quarterback that I think is now the clear number one play on the slate is Kyler Murray. The Arizona Cardinals are the biggest favorites on this slate. It's like 13, 13 and a half points, depending on where you look. Detroit, one of the worst defenses in the league overall. The biggest risk here in week 15 with Kyler Murray is that the Lions offense is just not competent at all. Uh, TJ Hawkinson is not going to be playing for them anymore this year. They're down both their starting running backs. They've found a bright spot in Amon Ross St. Brown at wide receiver. And so obviously that's been a good connection for Jared Goff. But, you know, if this game does actually get out of hand quickly, uh, this could be a situation where Kyler finds himself on the bench after two and a half quarters. Um, Hopefully he does enough in that time frame to get you there with the touchdowns if they're through the air and not through the ground. But clearly like the upside of Kyler Murray here, playing for the Cardinals, highest supply team total on the slate, biggest favorites. There's not very many options anymore, so Kyler is one of the better ones we can look at. Our model loves Josh Allen this week. I believe he's the number one quarterback in the Occupy model right now for Sunday's slate against the Carolina Panthers defense. The Panthers defense has actually been pretty tough against the pass this year. They're like sixth uh, by football outsiders DVOA defending passers. Uh, Allen obviously can make some plays with his legs. He gave us the rare 300-plus yard passing bonus and 100-plus rushing yard bonus uh, on DraftKings last time out against the Buccaneers, obviously proving, even in a loss, that Allen's skill set well intact, and he's still capable of playing at that MVP level that we saw throughout 2020. And the rubber meets the road here now for the Bills. They have to string some wins together to honestly make a run at even making the playoffs at this point. That's how tight the AFC is. Um, it starts here in Week 15 against the Panthers, Panthers team that doesn't really have too much to play for anymore. So hopefully Josh Allen is able to have a pretty strong day against this defense in Week 15. He is questionable, but I like Aaron Rodgers against the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, the spread on this game has actually moved a little bit more towards the Packers. Uh, there's a question about whether or not Lamar Jackson will be able to play. It's not practice all week. I would anticipate Tyler Huntley for the Ravens being under center, which is why Green Bay is favored by almost a touchdown at this point, uh, even though they're on the road here against the Ravens. Rodgers has not been practicing because of this toe injury that has been nagging at him for the better part of the last month or so, but it hasn't affected his performance at all. See, four touchdowns last game, over 340 passing yards. Uh, three weeks ago, kind of a similar situation against the Vikings. Don't think Rodgers' performance is going to be impacted by that injury whatsoever. Can look for him to get the ball to his favorite weapons through the air, uh, just as he normally does here in the spot against Baltimore. The quarterback with the best matchup on the slate has to be Tua Taiko Viola, he's playing the worst pass defense in the league, the New York Jets, sorry to say. Um, he won't have his top receiver, though. Jalen Waddell is on the COVID-19 inactive list, and it sounds like he'll miss this game. Uh, he is getting some reinforcements at running back. Both Miles Gaskin and Savon Ahmed will be back for the Dolphins in Week 15. Taco Viola is going to have to lean on Devontae Parker, Mike Kosicki, Albert Wilson to get things done against this Jets defense, but it's not exactly a, a matchup that anyone has had too much trouble with throughout the season. I would expect to Taco Viola to be extremely popular in lowers contests, especially at his mid-range price here on DraftKings of $5,700, just $7,400 over on FanDuel. As this is now a nine-game slate because the things have been moved around, there are six games at 1 p.m., three games at 4 p.m., so there are a lot fewer options to consider. Some other quarterbacks that I'm mildly interested in, 
Uh, Ryan Tannehill, the Titans, playing the Steelers here in Week 15. Steelers have actually allowed the fourth most fantasy points per game to opposing quarterbacks for the last month. So maybe Tannehill can finally get a little more production in the passing department here. Uh, got a rushing touchdown last week. We'll see if he can actually make some connections through the air now that he'll be on Week 2 of Julio Jones being back at wide receiver. Uh, Cam Newton, he was splitting reps with P.J. Walker, Phillip Walker, um, at quarterback. Very maddening, makes both of them kind of unusable in fantasy football. However, Walker is another player that is on the COVID-19 inactive list right now. So maybe Newton will get the majority of the reps. Other player you have to watch is Sam Darnold. He has been activated from injured reserve. We'll see if he actually ends up playing a little bit. Maybe he ends up even starting. So we'll see what happens there. Joe Burrow with the Bengals. This is an affordable quarterback in a must-win spot for the Bengals who have uh, entered an extremely tight AFC North race for the the top seed there for a home playoff game. They're very much alive in that context. They need to win this game against the Broncos to stay in that mix. Uh, Joe Burrow um, has a slight... The Broncos are also a slightly below average pass defense, so that is working in Burrow's favor here as well. That's going to do it. That is how I'm looking at the quarterback position in week 15 as of Friday, as we've learned this week with all the COVID news that's come in. Things can change drastically in a matter of minutes. So I hope uh, everybody out there is happy and healthy, getting ready for the Christmas season if you celebrate, uh, especially the NFL players. And our favorite players are available for us to consider on Sunday. We would certainly enjoy that for a lot of reasons, not just DFS reasons. Make sure you keep your eye out for the daily plug that'll be published at OccupyFantasy.com by 8 p.m. on Friday evening. That's where we will go over our favorite expensive and value plays at the quarterback position. It's also where we will give you our favorite plays at all the other positions that you need to deal with. And not just that, we will give you the tips and strategies that you need to deploy these players effectively in the type of contest that you're playing. Whether there's a lower-risk contest or high-risk contest, we give you the advice that you need to play well regardless of the format that you're choosing. It's the most important part of the plug. You certainly don't want to miss that. As always, for Occupy, I am Chris. Thank you for watching this video, and we'll talk to you soon.